We are Julia and Sven with our polar bear dog Felix and love to explore the world together. In last week's episode, we rented a 7 meter long camper van to test the luxury lifestyle on the road. Compared to our 50 year old vintage van Daisy, it has lots of benefits to offer, so of course we had to take it to the test. That's why we drove 1400 miles from Germany to Spain, but there are also a few other reasons why we had to leave Germany. <laughs> Hey guys, from Spain. We kind of ran away from Germany to get here, but we will talk about that later in the video. First, we will now explore more of this beautiful country. After two full days of driving, we finally made it to our first stop in Spain, which is a very special house on the coast we always wanted to visit. It's called Muralla Roja and it's famous for its many colors and weird shapes. This whole house looks so unreal. There's a special concept behind it. I don't really get it, like probably the architect thought people should get lost <laughs> because we had difficulties, still have difficulties finding any place. So it's super cool and so much fun to go explore. More than five years ago we were here for the first time standing out of the gate um, and just exploring the surrounding. I knew this place. I knew that it was nice, but we couldn't get in because we could, didn't rent anything here. And for this trip, we just had to put it on our itinerary. It's like a dream coming true, at least for me. Photographer's dream. Yeah, it looks very, very special. So this is the apartment from the inside. In my opinion, it's not as beautiful as the house from the outside. I wouldn't have thought that the apartments would look like that. Very, very special with lots of different corners and kind of like a labyrinth. But the most beautiful thing we have here, or the one thing that is very, very nice, is the balcony, as you can see, with the amazing, amazing view. Good morning, guys, from Murala Roja. I hope I pronounced that correctly. The sun is about to rise, so it's slowly getting wet outside, and we will go up to the roof to have a little photo shoot. I'm excited. We are done shooting content and it was so so beautiful. To be honest, I expected that there would be way more people. There were like three other couples going around taking some pictures, but yeah, nothing special. Uh, maybe because it's off season, I don't know. Um, but maybe we should also mention that we booked an Airbnb to get into this place. It was like 100 euros per night. We had to book two nights. In the end, we paid like 250. But if you're a company and you want to shoot here, prices start at 4,000 euros per day. So it's quite expensive. Airbnb is a better option. <laughs> but there are no drones allowed. You have to be quiet because residents are living here. and. Uh, I'm pretty sure since it's such an Instagram spot, it's also annoying for the people, but we didn't see many. So maybe two residents and all the other people here were like tourists. And I think most parts of this building are kind of empty. And to be honest, it's not in the best condition anymore. So the house is 50 years old and the apartment we are in right now has never been renovated. At least it looks like that. And the outer parts as well. I mean, on the photos, it looks nice and videos. But if you go closer, the walls are falling apart. Uh, the color is coming off. There are holes in the walls and on the floor. So yeah they should do a makeover, I guess. If you ever come to this place, also make sure to go downstairs to the bar. It's right downstairs from the parking lot. It's a lost place, but it has some very, very nice views. Enough time in this building. Fritje, you ready to explore more? First up is this breathtaking canyon with those beautiful bridges. It's called Canyon del Mascarat. So today we will basically just drive along the coast and visit some beautiful viewpoints and spots and then go back to Kalb where the Airbnb Muralla Roja is. Did I pronounce that correct? Muralla? <laughs> Muralla Roja? Muralla Roja. Yeah, I think that was correct. Let us know in the comments if you speak Spanish. We don't. <laughs> the good thing about van life is that you can always just have some food when you are hungry and cook. We are parked somewhere on the main road. Yeah, and now we want to eat before we go to our next destination. This is our next stop. <laughs> we don't even know the name. Right now, we 
are rushing up a mountain because the sun is setting over the city Benny Dorm and we want to see it. So. Let's go, it will be worth it. We missed it for like one minute, but it's still so beautiful. I've always wondered what this place is, Benny Dorm. It's so random for me to have the city here at the coastline with those huge, huge skyscrapers. So many of them. All I know is that it's famous for British tourists who like to get drunk here. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. Do you, do you guys know why there are so many skyscrapers? I mean, are there so many people here? Good morning. It's still dark outside. It's five in the morning and now we're up to our first photo mission of the day. And then we will leave this place here, Muraya Rocha. As you might see, this is not my time of the day. I, I, it's very difficult for me to get up that early. Julia, however, always gets up at five, which is just crazy for me. But it is what it is. We want to get some sunrise photos that's why we have to start walking in fact we will walk for 10 kilometers now ah yeah. uh, i'm freezing cold <laughs> it's, it was so windy and so cold but it was all worth it yeah my hair looks like an explosion but we took some very beautiful content we will show it to you here it was all <laughs> We just left the Red Labyrinth House and Calpe and now we'll continue our journey through Spain, direction south. The good thing about this huge car is the bad situation. So we can take a break whenever we like. We made it to the next stop, which is some big rocks. Bon nuevo, no? Bon nuevo, over there. Next stop, Moyaca. 5,000 steps to get up to the, to the town. At least it feels like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no, I think the way is blocked. Peter! You can't go there. Peter! Hmm? Have you seen the cattos? Katze? Guess what this is? It's a part. It's a part of the car. <laughs> so yesterday, while parking the car, I touched a wall with the back. With the back. A car. Right side. Another car parked way too close to us, so we so had, had difficulties to, to get out. It was very difficult, and then it, there was a very loud and scary noise, and it turns out that this thing fell off. Fell off, and now there's also <coughs> a little scratch on the back. But it's not that bad. It's okay. I mean, this car is so huge. Yeah, I never drove a car that big before. And all those streets here are very, very narrow. I knew that something like that would happen at some point of time. But in, in German we say, it's no blech. So it's just... <laughs> it's just uh, metal. Like, part of the metal. So Luckily, nothing else happened. Yeah, so no one got hurt. It's the next morning, another day, another early morning mission and guys, look what we just woke up for. We took an air mattress just to have a little photo shoot here while enjoying the sunrise. With this view! I mean, this moment itself pretty much sums up why we had to leave Germany behind for this. <laughs> I was busy filming Felix, then I turned around and saw this guy. <laughs> I was using the opportunity, you know. We don't have sun in Germany, so I need to use this one. For us, it's the good weather here that makes such a big difference. It gives you so much happiness and energy. And especially those months that we have right now, so from December till maybe March, are very gray and rainy in northern Germany where we are from so that's why we had to leave this area and also another reason is that we always wanted to trail one of those huge camper vans we've seen so many of them on the roads and it's just the perfect condition here in Spain to try this out also we are travel content creators so we have to travel at some point of time and it is just 
so amazing to get the chance to visit this beautiful country with this amazing weather and this huge camper van with all the amenities it has. Woo! <laughs> okay guys, that's already it from our first vlog out of Spain. We are super excited for the next weeks. Of, of course we will take you with us. Well, we visit the second most visited country in the world, which is Spain. Maybe you can guess in the comments which country is the first most visited in the world. We'll see you again next week. We hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye, bye. bye. ciao ciao.